Oh my, oh my, what have I found on the big internet of ours? Another Flipper Zero clone called the Flopper Zero. Now, let's talk about what that is in this video. So, we are talking about a Flipper Zero clone. And this is how it looks, you know, it looks um, pretty homemade, as you probably can see. This is the only picture that I have of it. Um, there are, of course, some other pictures, you know, also the backside. We can just start looking at what we see on the pictures. Starting from the back, you know, we see a battery. So that is the actual battery that can be put behind the board. And we do see a lot of different things attached to the board. It's an Arduino board. It's uh, made by a guy called Iraton, Iraton, Iroton. I don't know exactly what it is. Made with love, by the way. This is the guy's official GitHub repository that I'm also going to link to in the description below. So if this is something you would like to try out and build, <clears throat> this is actually a thing you can go ahead and try. I don't know how well this is documented, but I, I, I kind of feel that you need you need to have different kind of devices. So there are some to-do stuff going on, some features and components that you, of course, need to buy. Now, there is no, as I understand it, there is no, no direct uh, site that can show you exactly how to do, but there's a site here called the Flopper Zero Flopper what? So that is another side and it, it doesn't really seem that there is a lot of help to get so you would need to know something or you could probably write to the guy it's a pretty new project as you can see it's only like nine months old i feel that there might be some content to find I, maybe either on youtube or something where you can go ahead and check out how to you know create this device but as you can see it's a um it's a it's obviously a flipper zero clone <laughs> right but you probably wouldn't think about it think about this way you have a small screen you have some controls and so on and what can this thing actually do well um it does actually say down here that it it, it actually function as a normal rocket duck rocket rubber ducky that's difficult to say rubber ducky uh, as also the Flipper Zero does. So that's just a one-to-one, -one. great, okay? It supports the RFID and NFC tags reading. That's great, so we're already home safe. Huh? It does uh, also support infrared signals, which is kind of easy to do. Also radio frequencies, and it can save and load from SDs. And this is totally 100% programmable with the Arduino IDE. So you are back again and now we need some technical experience in order to collect this device together and it is not an easy task if you have no skills at all in the area of putting prints and circuits together if you haven't you know used any kind of device other than the flavor zero and you just want something polished with a button you can press on, connect it to USB, well, then you should definitely stay with the Flipper Zero. That's going to be my final verdict for you. But if you are the other guy like me, with lots of experience in this area and can actually do different things, um, then this is probably a device you should go ahead and try out. So why would you do that? You know, why would you do these kind of things? This is, why, this is what people usually talk about. And I would say, listen, you know, if you want to learn something and do it for educational purposes, just for learning itself, this is a really good project to start out with because you will be engaged in learning how to uh, solve the things together. You will learn how to uh, buy the correct devices. You know, you need, there's actually a list, as you know, but still getting this list right here might be difficult for you to to get these things because what does this mean right what does all these numbers and things mean so you need to do some research right but you know from what i see there's also a framing here of github stars and of the flower zero from july 
2024 where it kind of just skyrocketed on the star history of common over that is so i would like to say that i i i kind of like the general idea behind all this there is some there's actually a you know i was going to go ahead and look in there's actually a schematic on a pdf file where you will be taught how to i guess put things together you know and there's also a json file that's going to be mass this particular case and there is a other type of schematic yeah they have the actual device itself so it does seem there are some help to get what you probably would like if you are a newcomer to this is a video of someone showing you exactly what to do step by step talking explaining and it just doesn't seem that this is the case for this type of unit so this is of course not a thing that is for beginners it is a thing that is for advanced probably i would say intermediate users and if this is something you would like to give a go you know i i actually think that go ahead and give the guy a shout out you know the i uh Araton, filippo notari he got other kind of things he's working on seems quite active on sharing things and seems quite active on contributions last year um so go ahead and check out his other stuff uh definitely gonna go ahead and check out the flava zero and what it could do I'm, I'm not really sure if if i'm going to go ahead and get this device myself because it's just you know so many projects already have a flipper zero um i did create some other things already i have created my own little ponagachi and stuff like that but you know that's also pretty polished and pretty easy to do to solder things together you know and getting the right devices for your first time it's the first time project it's going to be a big learning curve for you it's going to be exactly just like this learning curve you're going to buy the device by the way boom you're going to collect it and most likely fail unless you have that thick rich experience with working with microcontrollers and small other things right here so for this video i just want to bring attention to this and there are actually actually pretty cheap projects out there that can save you a lot of money but they're gonna need you to invest the time and learn, understand, be better. And if this is what you wanna do, you know, throw yourself over this project and, and make it something that you really like. Because I think that we are getting to a point of too many, oh, too many things, you know, that, that just can do stuff with a button and people are not really learning how to do it themselves. Not really learning how to program anymore just when i get something that works and that is the kind of generation that i think we should you know demolish and actually embrace learning again from the scratch to learn how to do stuff and at the end of the video let's talk about the to-do list and the software he does talk about the to-do list and finish the rf scanner and sender menu bad usb l r i r in, in infrared sorry and also RFID without emulation so it is a working process if you want to contribute to the project and and share and work with it you know go ahead and give the, the man a shout out you know the link in the description below to this repository you can contact him that way so the flopper zero are we going to see this in the future with um, modifications and so on we will see other interesting projects emulating the very popular Flipper Zero, soon to be seen the Monstertech M1 multi-tool that is still not being shipped out, still a working process. Will this device actually have a place in the market and is it already too full of things that can do stuff with infrared signals, RFID and so on? What do you think? You know, keep a comment below. Let's talk about your thoughts on Will this device do something for you? Do you like it? Would you like to try it? You know, please stay constructive and argue for what you're going to say, not just say something weird without an argument. That's always not a good idea. All right. So see you out there and have a really nice day.